the jesters of Mardi Gras. These things are huge. Fried clean tomato po' boy. Bloody Mary bar. Actually, that's my favorite shirt so far. Some chips, and that is chicken, and that is steak. What is Cheese it? spots will top with crispy onions. Oh, that's what I want. What is up, guys? This is Carson, that's Sammy. We are the complete couple, and we are back today at Universal Studios. It is Wednesday, 31st. the 31st of January, and we want to see if they got any Mardi Gras stuff up. Last time they didn't, so uh, let's go check it out. We're gonna show you guys we're some food, do that. some fun. We're gonna do the parks, food, Mardi Gras, islands, bunch of content, bunch of Universal content, and again, some uh, for a looking Mardi Gras, which I already see some merch that we're gonna go look at. So let's go see it. Finally. All right, we got merch. Mardi Gras merch. merch, merch, merch. It's wow, pretty good. Two for 20 on the flower uh, crowns. Oh yeah, the crowns. Look at this. Hold How on. cool does it look? Does it look cool? There's no way you can see out of that. Oh. I think you gotta go higher. It actually looks really cool. It's really cool. <laughs> it actually looks really cool. All right, so here's one of their shirts. Pretty good, two for 20 on the flower crowns. That's a big jacket. Shirts. I may have to get one of those if I'm this cold one. later today, so. We got uh, some that's pretty cool. dolls. Wow, that's creepy. There's more over here. Nola voodoo dolls. Wow, Nola. We went to Nola. Uh, bottle of Thrust Keychains, Point Metro Bees, 315. That's cheating, though. We're, We're going to be parade. throwing those later. Yep. Not today, but uh, this weekend probably are. We'll, this weekend we'll be catching them, and there. you guys will watch us do that. The cool beats. Pretty, yeah, you know, another shirt. Yeah. Mardi Gras 2024. You got a flannel. This flannel's pretty cool. Very Mardi Gras. Yeah. Very Nola y. Actually, that's my favorite shirt so far. Yeah, same. That's my favorite one so far. Yeah, just the little, that's yeah, that's cool. my favorite one. That's a good one, that's my favorite. We got backpacks, this guy's obviously a vibe for the thing, because look, oh, here's your cups. Oh, yeah. Uh, there you go, that's your- uh, $30 your, souvenir your, cup. Your souvenir cup for your- Pins. Mardi Gras, that's a big one. A lot of people collect these, so that's what you guys are gonna be looking at for. I like it. Let's stuff. go see what else we got. Yeah, looks like they're finally setting up. I bet you the sign's up. Finally, let's go. All right, so in the Universal store, they actually have all the merch. I'll make this quick, uh, so it's not just a full merch video. But we got that shirt we saw outside, some more socks. Uh, we got that iconic flannel. We do have a koozie. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's really neat, you guys. I actually really like this. It's a cropped sweater, so that's pretty cool. They got a uh, fanny pack. Some more shirts, those are really nice. Those are kind of more tame, a little more chill. I'm not sure what that is, a bag. And then we do have our king here. Real struck animal, really cool. Kids shirt, same backpack as before. There's that flannel again and a sweater. And then Carson and I favorite shirt. Once again, we do have our lanyards out here as well, which is pretty cool. And again, We've got this guy. This is actually glass, not plastic. It's pretty cool. He's also on a blanket. Again, there's your freestyle tumbler for Mardi Gras. This is what your kind of main guy is looking like. Another cool shirt with this guy on it. Really like that sweater. Uh, we got these, some tie-dye. We got some more masks again, but some really cool ones here in a box. And then again, your beads. We saw that shirt outside as well and another cool sweater with this guy on it so definitely a big theme this year is this cool dude and another shirt that's new that's really cool i really like that one too i might get that one that's pretty cool all right so there you go you also got your fan that should be all the merch usually they keep all the merch in the universal store so i don't think i'm going to show you any of the boots out here if they have it because it should be the same same merch but there you go there is all of your mardi gras merch we are really making headway already so pretty cool so I lied. There's no sign. I really felt confident on this one, but no sign. But there's no annual pass. Oh yeah. yeah. That was short-lived. If you guys watched the last video, there was an annual pass line over there that you could go and use. Maybe they only do it if it's that makes no weekends. Sense. We came on a Sunday. Uh, it's dead as it was. There you go. It is. So there is no annual pass holder entrance. I guess maybe on weekdays. So that's an update. Finally made to the park. We're gonna try the uh, the new everything pretzel served with a spicy curry vegan aioli. Really excited. We've always wanted to try it, but we never had. Yeah, let's take a look at it. it looks nice. Well, we'll give it a shot. See how it is. Nice. Right, all right, we got our pretzel. Not as much everything on ours is. Uh, it's a, looks a little. Uh, looks a little kind of sad, actually. It's really warm. So I'm gonna try a bite without the sauce and then with the sauce. A lot of hot. Well, at least it's hot. Very good, actually. Soft, 
I would like more everything. Okay, you want to try this? So is this a mustard or something? It's a curry. You're just gonna lick it. That is curry, but very good. Do you like curry? It's not spicy. Really good sauce. Wow. Weird combo. The sauce is a 10. It just tastes like curry on a pretzel. All right, cool. We're gonna eat that and we'll show you guys the next thing. Guys. I knew it. It's here. So this first one, Puerto Rico. Let's see what we're working with. I will tell you, it's absolutely dead here today. So in Puerto Rico, we have a casserole plantains and a pina colada, a puff pastry. We'll have a puff pastry. And cod fritters with bell pepper, cilantro, onions with a mayo ketchup. All right, that's Puerto Rico. Let's see, this which, is no lie, thanks. Which Sorry one the suited wind. you there? None of the above. Wow, do you feel, oh my gosh. Now this is what I'm talking about. An espresso martini this year, guys. No and way. And beignets, this is gonna be a long line. And then you got a mini king cake and an Irish. There's ice espresso coffee. martinis? Espresso martinis, that cannot be good. But I can't wait to try it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't wait, and I'm very excited. We will definitely probably try this as well. And you can pair it with the espresso martini for $19.99. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. So this is just Nola, it looks like. Um, yeah, Mardi Gras. It's probably a knockoff of uh, the place where you get the beignets. Yep. And we got this is new. They're actually getting... Well, you can see how busy, the, how, how bad the wind is. is. Yep, so we got, oh well, wow, we got some stuff in the park. We got this guy. Oh, he looks cool. Little crab fish boil guy. Alright. It is windy, dude. They are. Yeah, they need to sucks. get their plants all back up. <laughs> Alright, see, this is another, this is one of the major ones. Uh, again, this isn't uh, one of the cities, like the countries. This is actually the Mardi Gras food foods. So we got a fried green tomato po' boy with Cajun ke ke kettle chips. I'll probably have a Cajun kettle chip. Chicken and andouille jambalaya. I would probably try that. Shrimp and crawfish boil. A shrimp gumbo and a crawfish. Don't ask me how to say that. And That's category fake. five punch. So we'll probably try one of the, something from here on Sunday. Shrimp gumbo and a crawfish etouffee and a category five punch. So there we go. All right, nice. I'm gonna try some of those. So that one was all the same right there. That one was you ordered there, and then you got both of those coming out of. Well, you know why? There was like six different menu items. Yeah, there you was gotta, a lot. There was a lot. You actually. gotta think. There was yeah. the po' boy, the, the etouffee, the shrimp. The crab thing. There was yeah, a lot. There's and a then lot. we got all this too. They really did a lot of stuff. Whole setup. I don't understand what that's supposed to be, but oh, is that king, king, king and queen of Mardi Gras? Must be. Pretty I mean, cool. Maybe there's gonna be like some kind of palm reader here. No, it's just decoration. Maybe. Yeah. I guess there's gonna be someone sitting there. Nice. All right, first set of food booths. And look how empty it is. This coming weekend. It ain't gonna look like this. Yeah, no one <laughs> is. Enjoy it now. When we come on Sunday, it's gonna be miserable. <laughs> That's true. I'm gonna get a drink and uh, we'll show you more food menus because there's gonna be a lot more. Let's do it. Damn, what a difference maker one week makes. I got a whole stage before. I'll input what it looks like before is just a tent. But a Bloody Mary bar. I guess you don't really. Look at that stacked yeah. Bloody Mary. There's like a sandwich in it if you look. Worcestershire is in it. Oh, I think that's normal. Just kidding. Yeah, but you can get a Bloody Mary mild, kind of cool. But if you look at this, it's got a Lou, it's got some kind of. That's like a whole sandwich. It's got a it sandwich on it. It doesn't though. say what it is on it, but there's a whole sandwich on it. Bloody Mary bar. There you go. There it is. Look at that sandwich on there. All right, so Sam brought up a good point. So this is has nothing to do with Mardi Gras. This, this is, is just. The Philippines one. They're kind of just trying to do what they do at Epcot. Yep, so Puerto Rico was the first food booth you guys saw. Remember I said it was next to the Mardi Gras one? So this is now going to be Philippines. And we have rice noodles. That actually looks pretty good. With chicken. Uh, they got pork. And a paper roll. A cheesecake. Coconut juice. And uh, lager. So not they sure. are using this, but it's not Mardi Gras. But you are, it is going to be open, so. Right it's, next to I mean, the... It is, I mean, it yep. is Mardi Gras, but again, it's it's the around the world, so a little different. So there you go. So they are using this for the Philippines. There you go. Here we go. Here's our next one. Thailand green papaya salad with shrimp. That looks kind of light and fresh. I'm definitely gonna try that. Wow, that looks pretty. The green curry Ooh. with chicken. Guys, my favorite chicken saute. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna come eat here. Yeah, so that's another one we got. We have so a lot, again, we're gonna have a lot of food. We are, so we got Thailand now. The iconic Nola. We've been there. Look, we found the jesters. The jesters of Margo. These things are huge. They're like 10 feet tall. Yeah, they're like here. Good photo spot. <laughs> that's actually, it's a great spot. photo spot. Yeah, that is cool. Guys, there's another one. 
I didn't even think we saw anything like. Think there, there was, was not even here. a building here. I don't think. Right, this one's Canada. Canada. Candied bacon with onion <laughs> poutine. Maybe. I mean, I'll probably eventually try it. Hey, we had poutine. Yeah, a vegan wild mushroom poutine. So let's be a vegan cheddar. There you go. If you're vegan, that's pretty cool. Uh, don't know. And a fire cider. Ooh, fireball whiskey. Ooh. I don't know. I would actually try that, baby. Yeah, I would. I would try it. Dude, there's a lot this year. There is a lot this uh, year. A lot more than I remember. Let's get Sammy scanning this thing. See what pops up. Let's see. There we go. All right, so there we go. So I'll uh, link this. We got Belgium. Where was we Belgium? Belgium? Brazil. We got Canada. Haven't seen China, China or Colombia or France or. Ger oh. Did we miss something? Is we're it an to, island? We're gonna have to go walk back around. Maybe it's an island. I've never seen them do it in islands. Germany, Italy, Mexico, no New Orleans, way. Philippines, Puerto Rico, Spain, Thailand. There's a chicken snitchel from Germany. All right, we're gonna go find these. All right, we gotta go find. We got. We have like ten to is. find. It's like a scavenger hunt. Nice. Oh. Oh. Good job, also, babe. We would have walked right past that. <laughs> we would have been looking for a long time. Guys, if you're wondering, we think it's right behind here on the Actors On At location. At least a couple have to be. Oh yeah. So here's some drinks. Punch, Paloma, just a bunch of different uh, cocktails. Realistic. This is right? actually a bar. This was the bar. Yeah. Oh, this is that's the bar. So that's a bar. So no, it might just be a bar here. Yeah. Oh no, there's some type of food over here. So we got one. Oh god, I didn't even see this on here. See, where is this on that menu? Twisted tater. They're bringing them. They're bringing them. An orange pie and a pork slider. See, that wasn't in. That was. No, not we gotta in. go see what country this is. They didn't oh. show you the menus. I told you. Told oh wow, you. there's no country here. I told you not everything's on So what here. country is this? This isn't one. This is just part of Mardi Gras food. We've got like eight countries to they find. They need to fix their website. I am lost. Guys. Hold on. Also, there's a cool, another picture spot here. It looks like a peacock feather. Kind of cool. Flashback to, again, four or five days ago. Where's the stage? Why'd they get... What are they... <laughs> the stage Why'd is... they build it and never use it and take it down? It had it been for something else. Maybe that was the stage for Halloween Horror Nights? It's, it's, oh, no, it's January. Maybe it would have been. Maybe it would have been. Maybe what it would. What's the point of that? Maybe it would have been for uh, for uh, Christmas. Again, flashback. What was that for? It's gone. I bet there's gonna be food booths there. Oh, here's Mexico. Nice. Oh, this now sounds good. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. So far this year, guys, there's actually been I would say about four, five or six things we would try. So the menus look pretty good. Yeah. Are they gonna taste good? We'll find out slowly but surely. But. There's been some pretty good options. Like, I would eat this for sure. Tortillas topped with chili braised chicken, salsa verde, cilantro onion with cream. I mean, you would eat that all day. I would eat that. Case of birria. I love the birria. Oh, I would eat that oh, too, a man. Case of birria. A uh, churro loops. I would eat that. Got a margarita. I wouldn't drink the margarita, but I would eat all that food. All right. Well, all right. So we found Mexico. Getting, getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. All right. Cool. We're gonna need a drink. This is the best bar right here. All right. Well, we did find where France is gonna be. There's no menu. But they're obviously gonna use the crepe stand that's always here. Yeah. So it makes sense. Also, this was used for Rock the Universe. They have Christian concerts. And, and it just finished it up last week. So that, my wonder is now. Here. There you go. It was used for Rock the Universe. And there you go. We found so right behind France, they're gonna take over basically the crepe pavilion. All right. On to the next. Feeling good. Feeling all right, me good. Too. You know, you could probably populate France's menu because I bet it's online. Yeah, I'll post it. Yep. Party Gras, February 3rd through April 7th. Okay, so Saturday is opening day. February 3rd through April 7th. Also, Sam was right. I was right. I'll insert the old clips here. Look how much they've, they've done, done in a few days, They've guys. done so much work. Look at that. Here it is. That's kind of cool. It's a riverboat cruise. Oh my god, it's what we did! It's a riverboat cruise. We did this. The, uh, it's called something. It's something lady. Yeah, that's... But anyway, we did this. Go see our New Orleans thing, we did it. But yeah, it's a riverboat cruise. I don't know if there's any food down here, so I don't know. We're missing quite a few still. There is a center area we're gonna go look at. Maybe they haven't put them up Maybe yet. Maybe they have like three. Maybe they haven't put them up yet. Oh! So here's Germany, right outside of Mel's drive-in. Guys, Which, I'm surprised this isn't like two countries. They are obviously thinking German's gonna be popular. This is double the size. Think about these little tiny food trucks. Yeah. That is huge. Let's go see what it is. Big. Oh, you're gonna like this. Oh, I'm pumped for this year, guys. Pumped. That's what I want right there. Mm. What is Cheese it? Cheese spots will top with crispy onions. Oh, that's what I want. Oh my gosh. That's probably amazing. A chicken schnitzel, a currywurst, which is a German bratwurst with a spicy curry ketchup. And you get a beer flight. I think I would get 
every single thing here. Honestly, I think I will too. We might do that on Sunday. That sounds amazing. I think we're gonna get it here. I think we're gonna eat a lot of stuff on Sunday. Oh, we're gonna do as much as we can. There's a lot of things to do. Cool, we're big German people. I cannot believe this is all, obviously it was a hit last year or something, because yeah, they got the big boy poop. Well, look, it's kind of cool. You can do a beer flight, so you get the one, two, you get three, three beers for the beer flight. It's kind of cool. Cool, let's go see if we can find the next one. So we're still missing like six countries. We're wondering if they're gonna turn that food booth into a country and then maybe add one or two food booths there, which they do sometimes. But we're still missing literally like six countries. So I don't know if they're gonna bring in two more food trucks and pop them over here because it's really empty, but this is the area that they do the concerts. So I, know. I feel like, I don't know if they'd take up any extra space here. We're gonna go see if we can find the rest, but we're shy of like six countries. Uh, I think like four. No, I think you're right, a lot. We're shy a lot. A lot. We've now circled the park. This will be our second circle. Here, my getting our steps in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, knocking one off the list. Colombia. Another kind of good option, man. I'm not used to seeing a food booth here, to be honest. Well, we got a Colombian burger with cheese, pineapple cabbage slaw, a and a garlic bit, sauce. A little bit of Colombian bam bam. Okay. And a repa and a crispy wafer filled dulce, dulce leche. Dulce de leche. Strawberries. And then a, a drink. All right, so we knocked another one off right in We're front of like Mummy. Four. All right, let's keep going. All right. It's gotta be somewhere. It gotta be Maybe somewhere. Take over the jack and potato place. No, that's too All right, we're getting, we're knocking a couple off. We'll see if we can find anything else. I think I know where else they could be. Okay. They always set up an extra food booth for horror nights, like there. Horror nights, right there in front of Nola. They might be there. Anyways, sometimes they set up food booths. Bars. Bars back here behind uh, Lombards. Man, I really had confidence for that. We are missing, by the way, guys. Five. Let's see what we're missing. Hold on. We are missing Belgium, China, Brazil, Italy, and Spain. Now, Belgium and Italy only have two food items. So I think they're going to be smaller. So I don't know if they're going to take over. Maybe just serve out of something that's like a bar. Something that's already done. I don't yeah. know, but we're still on the hunt. We have not found any more since Columbia, so I'm getting exhausted. Unsure. <laughs> wow, this is new. This is new. This, my friends, is new. This is never here for. Uh, this is not here when you come Maybe for you Halloween. I it's not really nailed in. I bet you could slide it. No, honey. I oh, think no, that's, that's nailed, nailed in. in. That's nailed in. That is nailed in. I think that's nailed in. That is not there for Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Crazy! Where is the food? Maybe it's inside Harry feel Potter like, World. I feel like yeah, maybe there's gonna, one in Harry Potter World. There's never one in Harry Potter World. I feel like I'm a uh, Snooky looking for the beach. Where's hmm. the beach? Where's the beach? It's Where's right, the food? It's right there, honey. <laughs> oh, I feel crazy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see if we can find it. We brought it. We remembered. There's only ten actually. We thought there was a lot more. I think we use it for some of the other things. But but there you go. I am gonna get my ice cream. Oh my god, here we go. Nice, we used $10 and we got that 362 back. back. Oh, it did say how much got it was. Got muggle money. Lame. All right, so um, we've I gotten gotta be this before. With you. Normally, it's like a beautiful sorbet. Swirl. Swirl, up to like here. Like and it's, it kind of looks like someone just didn't it finish it. It looks like they didn't finish making it. That looks... It's melted. It looks awful, to be honest. Did we get some, like someone like ordered they it and that's what they did? make it or something. It looks really, maybe maybe they made an extra one and that's the one they're giving out. It looks, oh, it's not even hot outside, you guys. We, we've got this one, it's hot. It tastes good, but it's so old. It's like, they didn't finish making it. Ew. It's like, they didn't finish making it. it it's, it's not still, even like it's whipped. It's still freezing, I'm telling you. They just made it, it's still freezing. They just put it in the thing and they didn't finish freezing it. No, yeah, it's like too wet. Look at it, dude. Okay, it doesn't look as we wet. Really just it's like it. wet. It's like melted, it's like water. It's not even mixed. Terrible. Oh my god. I, I, if I can find one on Google, I'll insert a picture of what it's supposed to look just like. Give me this. I don't know. That was disgusting. <laughs> wow, that was a real disappointment. That's disappointing. Anyway, let's keep looking for the five places we have left. <laughs> I, I don't think we're gonna find them at this point, but we're gonna do our last loop, and if we can't find them, I don't know. Okay, so we are at Bumblebee Man's Taco Truck, which we've never had, and I've always wanted to try, literally for years and years and years and years. Um, they did let me do one chicken and one carne asada. You get two. Thank you. Pretty. Not a lot of toppings to try a chicken, and we've also got to try a steak, but here's the menu, and we're gonna see how it is. Let's go. A little smaller than I thought. That's about what I expected. Yeah. All right, so you get one choice of salsa, some chips, and that is chicken, and that is steak. So we will give it a shot. All right, so we're gonna try the steak one. It is so windy, it's kind of miserable. 
All right, the tortilla's soft. I mean, it's all hot. It just definitely came out of a hot pot, though. Okay, the cilantro is actually flying off. <laughs> a little dry. Not too dry, though. And it needs flavor. Hmm. So let's try the chicken. Now, I haven't put the salsa on it. That's going to make everything better, but... Yep. Let's try the chicken. All right, so let's try the chicken here. Let's get a good view of these tacos here so everybody can see them. I'm always scared the chicken's not going to be cooked on Juicy, it's just not a lot of flavor. Yeah. Now what's going on? This made the steak better. It needs flavor. Yeah, makes but sense. But it's not bad. The texture is there and there's a little bit of flavor, but for me I want more flavor. But I think if you top it with this, it's not bad. And the chips are not stale. There you go. But we'll be stock review. You always want to try them? There you go. Not much to it. Meat, onion, tortilla. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> We'll see you guys uh, the next spot we go to. Here we go, ET. I always feel like this should make this a haunted house. Could you imagine walking through that forest? Yeah, but could you imagine walking through that forest and like something spook you? Oh my god, they called for two people. We're heading right on. That was fantastic. ET, go to TV. Hurry. Welcome What do you think of uh, E.T. as normal? I love that ride. Right? I hope they don't get rid of it with this new land. I will say one thing. Fast Pass was extra fast today. <laughs> yeah, we got, it was so fast. Also, talk review after he had it and had another bite. Bad without the um, salsa. Average at best with the salsa. Average at best. So, would not recommend it, but not getting it. Yeah, I agree. I was disappointed a little bit. Not what I was expecting, but I had never had it for so long that my, my expectations were a little higher. Yeah, I agree. Um, it's just, it's just, it was just meat and bread. It, nothing was that dry. There was just no flavor. Nothing to it. <laughs> Unless you added the sauce. Also, yeah, you gotta add the sauce. And the green sauce is not spicy. No, my God. Like, mild. Like, extra mild. I had a whole clump of it. Also, still can't find five of the things. So, we're going to kind of head out. Might do an outro if we leave. We're gonna go to islands, hang out, but I'm kind of tired of filming. Not much show up there. Maybe I will. We'll see. But I cannot find the other five places. So my guess is, and we'll see in five days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, where these stupid food booths are that I can't find. But as of now, we cannot find them. So there we we're go. around this corner. I'm gonna keep looking, but I'm, we're missing five. So we will see you guys in like five days to try to do opening weekend. Honestly, I'm gonna try a lot of food here just to show a lot of it. Yeah, we're gonna try to do food. So make we're sure you watch coming, it. We're also coming twice, so if we don't do some food, we'll do another food um, 10 days later, actually. But I'm gonna need to recoup well. some cash, so. Yeah, so if you could like. Share it. Or just like it. Like it. Anything helps. Subscribe. Now, so anyway, we're gonna bring you that. But I'll bring you back if we find anything, if we don't find anything. And listen, I don't wanna push this, but just so you guys know, at 5,000 subscribers, we are only 800 away. Shoot, I forgot. We're about that. We're gonna be oh. giving. A, we are gonna be no, giving. More poor. We're gonna be giving away to you guys five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. So I think Probably we're gonna do. do uh, I think we're gonna do like five five hundred dollar gift five hundred dollar gift cards. So I mean, all you gotta do is that. hit that subscribe button. Might as if well we subscribe. If you don't find it, you'll see an outro. If you find something, you'll see one of the places we can. There you go. Okay, so I think we're ending the vlog here because I we are still missing five food places. Let's go over them again. So when we come on Sunday, we know if we are just complete morons and just cannot find where it is. My guess, they're gonna take over like a small food booth that's already being used. Belgium, China, Brazil, Italy, and Spain. We did not find those. Other than that, saw all the merch, saw all the food menus that we could find. We're gonna head over to islands if we throw something together. We might put it at the end of this, but I think we're gonna go chill. We might go live so you guys can see some real-time content for the last hour that they're open. Other than that, stay tuned. Sunday is going to be opening weekend. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna show you the parade, and then following that, about a week and a half after, we're gonna show you what it's like to eat and then get on the float and throw the beads. So we're gonna have the beads thrown to us, and then we're gonna throw the beads. So it's gonna be great. Right, we'll Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you on Sunday. I love it.